And now it's three to try. This time the topic is hidden gem restaurants. We're going to give you three restaurants that are either off the beaten path or you know may not be visible from Main Street at least, but they're definitely worth the trip. The first one we're going to talk about is actually someone you just interviewed on the show yes. and you're still, I think, um, still have the flavors yes, on your I'm lips. Yes, I'm very full now. So. <laughs> eating the, I recommend the it charcuterie. greatly. Yes, cheese, crackers, delicious meats. And that is Joseph's Spaghetti Shed mm -hmm. in Glen. Now, Joseph's is no longer a sit-down restaurant, but they offer takeout. And this is actually a great way. When it's busy, mm -hmm. like, you, you know, you can wait for an hour or more at, you know, area restaurants, or restaurants okay. around Storyland um, and, you know, the rest of the Mount Washington Valley. If you are staying in a condo or a hotel room, you can, you know, you can go to Joseph's, you can order in advance, and they will, they have regular takeout, so you can, they'll prepare everything mm -hmm. to order. Hot, delicious Italian meals. They have great pizzas. They have yeah. obviously pasta dishes. Her uh, chicken piccata is legendary. Mm -hmm. You can also just walk in and get freezer items like chicken pot pie and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So in it's a great, now. Mm -hmm. great way to feed the whole family, mm -hmm. and it takes the stress off of like having to go out to eat and wait for a long yeah. time and you've got fussy kids. She made a great point though that a lot of restaurants when they get busy on a weekend or something they cancel takeout. Mm. So if you're planning on getting takeout this is like a guarantee that they'll have it. Yeah and again like kids after a day of Storyland they're antsy. Let them mm -hmm. go swim in the pool. You you just take a drive. Say dad's or mom's gonna go out yeah. for a little <laughs> bit and get dinner and then you can relax. Um, you have a second to yourself. Have a second and... to yourself. Pick up food and then mm -hmm. Come back to the chaos, and everybody will be will be happy. The perfect food after Storyland, too. Mm. Pasta, you know, yeah, <laughs> something filling. All right, next we are going into Jackson, mm -hmm. and this isn't right in the village. You actually have to take Route 16 B up towards the base of Black Mountain, and there you'll find the Shovel Handle Pub. It is like a, a, a mountain oasis. First of all, it's mm -hmm. like surrounded by things like, you know, Jackson Falls, waterfalls. Um, you know, little streams and uh, mountain views. Okay. It's absolutely beautiful, idyllic. And the shovel handle itself is a 19th century barn that's been refurbished. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, it's post and beam, three levels. Oh, nice. So the, the atmosphere is just incredible. And then the food is, is, is great as well. Mm -hmm. So I hear it's iconic, yes. Yeah, definitely a place to go. You will love it. Um, there can mm -hmm. be a challenge. I believe they're only open on certain days, so you want to definitely check ahead. Mm -hmm. And they are also a very popular wedding venue. So mm -hmm. on certain days, they may be closed for private events as well. So definitely check that out. But once you discover it, you'll want to go back again and mm -hmm. again. A great bar as well. And then the third, this is going to be in the southern part of the Mount Washington Valley okay. in a town most people don't even know exists called Snowville. It's a little village just mm -hmm. kind of west of Eaton, New Hampshire, which is south of Conway. You take 153 out of Conway and a left at Crystal Lake, and you will find a Snow Village Inn, and their restaurant called Max's is is just, it's so quaint and it's beautiful, and the, the food is absolutely top-notch. Oh, um, wow. gourmet. They're known for their oysters, <gasps> among other things. Oh, no. But fresh catch and like, you know, mm -hmm. um, choice steaks and prime rib and things of that nature. Oh, and uh, they have a full menu of a lot of things. And craft cocktails. Mm -hmm. And one of the nice things there is their view as well. They have a screened-in porch you can go and enjoy yourself on. And they have this signature view of the entire Mount Washington Valley with Mount Washington and the, and the presidential range oh, off in the beautiful. distance. So. And I've tried every oyster in town. Now I know about this one. So mm -hmm. you'll see me there soon. Yes, and if you <laughs> want to avoid the crowds, this is the place to go. You're going to want to mm -hmm. probably call for reservations because it is popular, mm, but okay. you won't have to deal with the traffic mm. of, you know, downtown Street, North yeah. Conway. 